Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we are going to look at rationalizing the denominator when we have two terms in the denominator. Let's take a look. So we're given this division expression, 3 plus the square root of 5 divided by 4 plus the square root of 5, and we want to make the denominator just one term, a nice rational term. Well, the way we can do that is we can multiply by its conjugate. Because if you're familiar with conjugates, what happens is the middle terms will cancel. And in this case, the middle terms will be the, those irrational pieces. So we're going to multiply by the conjugate. That's where we just take the two terms, the 4 and the root 5, and we switch the sign between them. So we get 4 minus root 5. And then whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do the same thing to the numerator. I'm going to simplify the numerator and the denominator separately, and then I'll bring it back together at the end. I'm also going to start with the denominator because if I end up simplifying and I still have a radical, I didn't actually simplify at all and I need to start all over again. I want to make sure I didn't make a mistake here. So we start with the denominator. In the denominator, I have 4 plus radical 5 times 4 minus radical 5, and we can just use FOIL to help us. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times minus root 5 is going to be minus, that's a regular 4, and a radical 5. So the 4 just becomes the coefficient of this expression. In the middle we have root 5 times 4, that becomes plus 4 root 5. And then we have positive root 5 and negative root 5, so a positive times a negative is negative. Root 5 times root 5 will just be, that's like root 25, which is just 5. Now we have two sets of like terms. I have 16 and minus 5 is one set of like terms. And I have minus 4 root 5 and plus 4 root 5 is my other one. 16 minus 5 is 11. Minus 4 root 5 and positive 4 root 5, those cancel out. We're just left, left with 11, which is a beautiful rational number, which is was the goal of this. So we're done with the denominator. Now let's look at the numerator. For the numerator, we're also going to distribute, but we probably aren't going to be able to cancel out the middle terms the way we could for the denominator, and that's okay. It's okay to have radicals in the numerator. Um, so we're going to multiply 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times minus root 5 will be minus 3, because 3 is a regular integer. And then root 5 is under the radical. Here we have a root 5 times positive 4 will be positive 4 root 5 positive root 5 and negative root 5, so a positive times a negative is negative. Root 5 times root 5 will just be a regular 5, right? Because that's going to be that root 25 again that we've already seen, and that's just going to be a regular 5. Just like we saw with the denominator, the numerator also has two sets of like terms. We have our integers, 12 and minus 5 will make 7. And we have these things with our irrationals, but they're like terms because they both have radical 5. Those match, so we can combine. When we combine, we combine the coefficients. Negative 3 plus 4 would make plus 1. We don't need to write the 1. You're welcome to, but you don't have to. We would just write root 5. Giving our final answer here, so we bring this all back together, we get 7 plus the square root of 5. All of this divided by 11. We might want to see, can we simplify something from all three terms? No, no, we can't. It would have to be all three. So even if the 7 11 had something in common, which they don't, we wouldn't be able to simplify those separately. We would have to do all three. So this is it. This is our final answer. We did it. We rationalized the denominator. This has been an example of rationalizing the denominator when we have two terms. Thank you for stopping by.